for ooh, various reasons, one of which my back was hurting because I'm like hunched over a table and the natural light wasn't really doing anything. So now I have artificial light. So the colors might not be that good, but hello, welcome to my favorite part of the video. We are going to get serious with these swatches. Let's start with like the actual like traditional lipsticks. So these are both from Bite. There's actually like, I got the Christmas edition. So there's one in the dark red Nori. I, I don't know where it is, but I gave one of them, I think it was Sake, to my mother-in-law. I love Bite. It's my favorite formula. I don't care anymore about any other lipstick brand. This is just everything. <laughs> but look at that shit. Oh my goodness. It makes me excited to use it. I love it. It sparks so much fucking joy. Wow. Yes. Okay, my least favorite. And... Is that weird? Possibly. This is the only relatively warm nude, and I think that's what the issue is. It's a warm nude, and I'm not. Like, it's too pink. Too, too pink. But I use it as a blush, and it, it's it's fine as a blush. So, um, I just love the formula, and I wear it just because I love the way that it feels. Let me clean that off, because it bothers me. Okay. So, I'm keeping that. Absolutely. This is the only red lipstick that's ever made me feel things. <laughs> Every other lipstick, like I've had like the Maybelline Superstay and like Pioneer. Good gravy. That looked terrible on me. It looked like I had floating lips and I did not enjoy that one bit. This is like a brown toned red. Wow, swatching is hard. Okay. It's... It looks a lot orangey because of my shitty lighting, but it is like this dark, like that helps. I don't know. Um, it's, it's beautiful on me. It's the only red. The only thing is it's not good in this formula because it's so creamy, but I don't care. I love Bite. I love this color. I'll never get rid of her until she leaves me, either expiration-wise or anything else. This is the Anastasia Matte Lipstick in Rum Punch. I had used up the birthday gift um, last year from Sephora. It was the Bite Pack. I didn't like Glass A, like the stick form, um, but I, I absolutely adore Chai. And I was running super low, and I saw this, and it seemed color-wise a dupe. Obviously, Bite is way creamier. But the color is relatively similar. And for me, this is what nude is to me, not that. That's just a bit too pink and light. I don't love the formula. However, it does stay really well. I would prefer it to be velvet, so some texture between cream and that. If you are not aware of that. I think everyone knows what that means. Okay, over-explanation. But um, I don't like it. But, you know, it works. And until I find another formula that I like best in this color, I'm just going to keep it. I have two suggestions or recommendations from Emily Noel. She and I do not have the same preferences. I know that now. It was not the most expensive lesson to learn, but it wasn't a, a cheap lesson. So this is a L'Oreal Riche Shine stick, I believe. Color Riche Shine, okay. In varnished rosewood, she's like, oh, this works for everyone. It is a perfect nude. No, did not, does not jive with me. It's just a bit too, look how disgusting that is. I think it just melted, honestly. It's just a little bit too mauve. Like, I can see how one would think, oh, that's completely similar. First of all, I'm not a gloss person. Don't, don't listen. But 
I am not really a gloss person. If I'm a gloss person, it's in doe foot form and not in stick form. Maybe if I found a color that I like, maybe I would fall in love with the formula, but I, I'm not repurchasing it because it's by L'Oreal. I do like the packaging. However, I had it in my bag and it completely just opened up by itself and it got all over my other shit in my bag and I, I was like, this is another reason why I hate you. I don't hate it. I just don't like it. I don't like the formula. I don't like the color. I'm getting rid of it. This needs to die. <laughs> I've had it for five years. Uh, I'm almost done, so I'm just going to keep it. Um, it's like a lip liner that I got from beauty school, so it really shouldn't be here, but... Um, this is like also the kind of nude that I like. Something slightly darker, more brown tone. This is Makeup Academy MUA, right? Yeah, Makeup Academy, um, and I think it's in like natural or nude, but it's not cheap. I don't necessarily like the formula. If this was a smidge lighter, if it was between a, a tone between this and that, I would per repurchase it. But you know what? I'm not like a lip liner person, so it doesn't matter. I got this from the Philippines. This is Pretty in Tint by Bobby Cosmetics in Dopey. It's not a tint because it does not stay. And I'm under the impression that tints stay. Maybe I'm thinking of a stain. Whatever. It's fine. Um, I'm not I'm not a pink tone lipstick person. The Oh, it smells like bananas, so that's a that's a plus. I don't like this format. It grosses me out. I don't prefer it. Um, so I've been using it on my cheeks like that, and it's it works, you know. I want to keep it because it was the last thing from the Philippines that I got. <sighs> you know, don't judge me. I'm keeping it, <laughs> even though I'm not crazy about it. I still like it. It smells like bananas. I really like banana runs. Ugh, ugh, so good. Okay. For whatever reason, I wanted a grayish lipstick, even though it hasn't been it hasn't been in vogue for like four years. Like I remember working at a, a salon school as like front desk person and all of the trendy girls wore it and I'm just four years too late but this is the infallible pro matte liquid lipstick I hear this is a good formula for people with dry lips um it's just a bit too grayish for me just too gray. I want to keep it because I want to feel like I could be edgy at some point in my life, but, you know, realistically, I just don't reach for it. And when I reach for it, I'm like, this doesn't look right, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I like this best. This is from, like, the chocolate collection, again, from L'Oreal Le Chocolat Scented Parfum. I don't know. Uh, also Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Box of Chocolate. I'm keeping this because... I feel like I do need, see this is too purple and gray. This has just like a little bit of pink. Um, it's, I have nothing in my collection, stash, whatever, that looks like that. So I, I want to keep it. It smells good. <laughs> it doesn't stay well, but I feel like I need to have some sort of cool tone nude. So that's staying. Oh my goodness, this is, this breaks my heart. Not because I like was highly invested in this necessarily, but this is the Bare Minerals Matte in the shade Hemp. Uh, I didn't test it out. Well, I kind of tested it out. First of all, it smells like chocolate cupcakes. That's a major plus in my eyes. But look how, like, I don't even mind that it's so light. Ooh, so, it smells so good. I wish you guys, I wish you guys smell it, guys. Um, but the formula sucks ass. 
so much ass. All, not all the ass, but a majority of the ass in the world is not very good. The reason why it's not good at first looks great. Actually, no, it doesn't look great. It's very streaky on my lips because I have very pigmented lips. It's very dark. It's, I think that's probably my, the closest to my lip tone. So I have to keep layering it and layering it. And then by the time the three hour mark, it's just crumbling and I get butthole lips and I can't abide. I wish this worked because I do like having like a concealer lip option but this just isn't it and I makes me sad because also it's moussey I don't like moussey formulas there's something about it just like I think it's like the silicone type of feel I just don't like it but anyways um this is the second Emily Noel suggestion that I don't care for I mean the formula is fine it's fine I'm not a lipstick, per um, sorry, I'm not a lip gloss person, so that's on me. However, this is, this has taught me what my lip gloss preferences are, so I shouldn't be too mad at myself. So this has like this barest bit of sparkle, but does the class know why I don't like it? If you said it's too peachy, you get a gold star. It's so peachy. I knew that buying it, but I didn't listen to my heart. That's the lesson today. Follow your heart. Follow your gut. It will save you money. It was $17. Um, I love Michelle Fawn, so I want to support her, but I just don't care for it. And the packaging is top-notch, but you know, I forced myself to use it, and I don't want to, so I am not going to throw it away. I'm going to find someone. I'm going to find a happy home for this little nugget. I don't know if I said what it is. It's magic hour, and I want to make sure that she's happy because she deserves better. We're down to three. <sighs> okay, here's the story behind this. So we were coming home from our honeymoon, and I had a lip balm at the airport and it fell the, the thing fell and Dyer had to convince me not to use it in hindsight I'm like thank you but at the time I'm like now I don't have a fucking lip balm I searched high and low at Newark airport for lip balm I could not find it this is the closest thing it was $21 I'm so mad I don't like anything about it and I want to get rid of it but it was $21 so I'm just going to use it up that's how mad I am about it Actually, this is the stay pile. Okay, down to two. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Let's not do that. I want to save that for last. Okay, Shiro. I learned that they have a Over the Garden Wall um, collection. And uh, I love that show. It is my, wow, it has like a little dent. What the fuck did I do? Okay, I don't know what happened, but this is as a, autumn colors fall from the over the garden wall shiro collection it smells like pumpkin spice here here's here's a little tidbit okay it smells so dang good i am into scented stuff if you can't tell the color is so beautiful like it's not too peachy like it has like some orange in it it's like a slightly burnt orange that i really love but here's here's a pro tip yo okay not that it matters. Not that anyone was, will ever have this combination at once. But this smells like bananas. This smells like pumpkin spice. You put it together, it smells like banana bread. You're welcome. Anyways, I'm keeping it. At first when I got it, it was like a little bit too watery. But I think it thickened up over time. Um, and I love it. And it is one of my perfect orange tone nudes. So there you go. I don't even care that I don't like lip gloss. It doesn't matter. My preferences don't matter when it comes to that. I'm keeping it. And this is Fenty Beauty in, can I have Rihanna skin? No, it's called Fenty Glow. It's not called, can I have Rihanna skin? Um, this is perfect. Robin Rihanna Fenty Esquire had me in mind when she created this. I don't, I don't care what anyone says. 
she did. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't need to say anything about it. Everyone knows, because every I was the last person to purchase this, because I am a late bloomer. But it's everything I want in a lip gloss, according to someone who doesn't like lip gloss. There you go. Oh,